Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. So, a slightly different video here today. I've been asked several times on some of the videos I did for this, um, and I decided to make a video this time. Um, I would like to start by apologize to all my patrons. It's going to be probably just a couple days delay between Patreon and uh, uh, YouTube for this video. Uh, I thought there was no point to publish this video in eight months time. I've just checked actually there is eight months uh, delay on my videos. So any video I publish, I record, for example, today uh, will be published in eight months in eight months time. Obviously, Patreon will get to see those videos way, way earlier. But uh, this video, I'm going to put no delay, really, uh, just a couple days. Um, and I would like to apologize for that. But um, what we're going to do here, most likely the title will be uh, quite suggestive and the thumbnail. So I've just updated the Maxi Seas this morning uh, and um, and uh, I've, uh, I've already updated all the logos. As you can see, that one in there, which I really like it. And all the other ones, there's only two left, which is that one. And interestingly enough, I haven't seen the DS program before. Uh, and I don't even have the logo for it. So I'm going to, that, and that's what I'm going to take you through, is how to put the logo in there. Um, the process of putting the logo in there is going to be the same to update all the other logos. So if you follow this correctly, you should be able to upload, uh, to upgrade any other logos. Um, there's one left here, which is the Pedro. I haven't done that one yet. Uh, done the Pedro, uh, done the Citroën, etc. But that's the one left. But I'm going to show you how to create your own logos. Um, now, there's two places on the Maxis where you can... Uh, um, where you can put these logos. Uh, sometimes putting the logos on that uh, on that uh, place, he updates everything. Sometimes you need to go on the program itself and actually update it in there. In this case, for the Pedro, that's where I need to go now. So I'm going to show you, for example, very quickly how to update the Pedro. So if I can, there, you remove that from the list. So you close the program. Now we're going to go to ES File Explorer. And and the local, if you come, back on your main on your main local page. So this is the root of the tool. If you enable um, hidden folders or hidden folders, you're gonna have that one in there. You press that one. You're gonna go to basic, and you're gonna have all your logos. Some of these is Chinese stuff. I never. I never go around to get the, the logos for them. But as you can see, all my logos are going to be here. Okay. Now, the Pedro, if I come all the way down to Pedro. It's going to be back. P, uh, P, P. So, Pedro. You have Pedro Shine, etc, etc. Uh... And then usually sometimes they have letters before that actually. So I should have Pedro somewhere here. But on this folder, sometimes they have letters before and is a little bit or after, I would say as well. So the Pedro, so we have Pedro Shine. Oh, there is Pedro PNG. So there is. But as you can see, he hasn't updated on the program. So what we need to do now, so we're going to go back. And we're going to go to vehicle, we're going to go to Europe, we're going to go to Pedro. And you're going to see that my logos are the circle ones. Now I have all these transferred to here already, except the, except the DS because I never had that logo before. So we're going to go to Pedro. I have all the logos here. I'm going to copy them. Now we're going to go back to the tool root. We're going to paste. We're going to override everything. And now we delete these two. And if I go back and I load the Maxis again, we should be able to see that. It's 
Go European. It's going to look for Peugeot. Is now the logo. Now, what we're going to do this time, as I said to you, not history, as I said to you, we're going to do this DS one. So, uh, let me take you through in case if you don't have the logos and you want to do this yourself, you can create every single one of, uh, of these logos. Um, so, DS, let's going to do it. So, I already did a little bit of work on this, okay? Just let me get the computer ready, clear all these notifications, etc. Okay, so the first thing I've done was going on to um, Google Image and I just put the SPNG logo. This logo came up. I have already downloaded the logo, which is right here. But this logo is obviously too big. Come on, focus. That's going to be interesting. I should do screen recording. So this logo, guys, is actually the logo I've just downloaded, I've just showed you. It actually 860 by 626 pixels. So that's way too big. Plus, this logo, let me show you, does have something you can't really see on the screen, but it does says DS Automobiles underneath and as you can see the logo is not centered with the actual image itself so I want the logo only so you don't need any fancy softwares I could go and get an um, image editor I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go to paint and I'm gonna copy the bit of the logo I want so that's roughly what I need I've, I've already pre-selected sort of and what we're gonna do is copy this okay now we're gonna go back uh, actually, I'm going to open a new one and I'm going to paste this, okay? So now I removed the DS and all the big blank areas around. Uh, and this logo now, uh, let me see if I can actually see. No, I can't. Uh, what do I see now? Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, in pixels. So it's 478 by 464 at the moment. That's still a little bit too big for what we need. Uh, Maxisys kind of uh, shrinks some of the sizes, but honestly, I usually, to make sure it's going to work, I, I prefer to give the right size straight away. And I'm going to show you what the size is. So we're going to be, we're going to go into one of these folders, doesn't really matter. Let's say BMW. And let's going to see what the size of this file is is 193 by 140 okay so let's gonna go back here 193 140 193 140 uh, keep proportion no let's press ok that's my size now so now I will shrink this down to what I want in there, roughly. Actually, let me zoom this in. So we make sure we get this spot on. That's it. Okay, now we're gonna save this as a JPEG. And I'm gonna actually create a, a new uh, folder and uh, save this file. Okay, so for now we're just gonna save it here. It's gonna save that file. Okay, now if I go back here, I will have my file, so that's the big file we loaded, if you do guys remember. And now this file is the little one we just loaded, we just did, the logo for the Maxisys itself. There it is. So now I'm going to copy this file into the Maxisys and then I'll show you everything working. We just, I'm just going to use a flash drive uh, to copy it. Okay, and I copied file to here. I actually had to rename the file to DS only, 
uh, now with the automobiles because when I came here uh, the file was DS PNG but was like the, the black circle so obviously the tool is not going to be looking for DS automobiles it's going to look for DS only so I renamed the file correctly now obviously the file is here already I don't know if this alone is going to uh, make the, the file, the, the logo to come up. Uh, but just to make sure so we don't waste our time, I'm just going to copy this from here now. And we're going to go to, uh, what is the place? Now we're going to go back to our vehicle again. Where's my vehicle? And now we're going to go to Europe. It's going to be here most, most likely. The yes, there is. Uh, and now, if I, I'm gonna paste it here, and then I'm gonna make sure I have all these logos uh, with the same because we have car. So car and car new. We can only we only need need one. Uh, okay, and my phone just ran out battery uh, and battery uh, space. Anyway, so yeah, so we know we only need one of these. We don't need the one that says new. It's exactly the same, but it says new. So we're gonna make these files, and then we'll. I will show you how it looks. Okay, so uh, as you can see the the car new and the car new ODM has now gone and I just have these two. Sometimes it takes a little bit to update but I'm going to show you that this is the right uh, logo. Okay and that one as well. There we go. So now we can we don't need to come out but I can go here load the program again And there is the logo for the DS. So this is roughly how we do it. Obviously, the first time you do it, it is a little bit of work involved. Uh, once you get it all done, it's really easy to do. Uh, you can just, in five minutes, you update all the logos. And that's it, really. Now, rocket science. Okay, and let's kind of wrap this video. As you can see, I have all the logos, including my logo on the EOBD. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you can see, all the logos are up to date now. Uh, on the maxi says and that's it really uh with no further ado guys hope you enjoyed the video um hopefully this will answer all your questions um if you have any questions still put them below hope you enjoyed the video guys and like always thanks for watching